launched an access to information uh, request with the Department of Finance to see who lobbied uh, uh, the Minister of Finance, Jim Flaherty, and his officials uh, on the issue of uh, uh, enhancing the Canada and the Quebec pension plans. Uh, we did that because uh, a lot of uh, activity was taking place, we understand, before the finance ministers met in June. And in, indeed, uh, Minister Flaherty uh, turned uh, almost an about face and uh, went from supporting CPP improvements to uh, opposing them. Well, we think we're going to find that there was a lot of activity by the financial services community to, uh, to uh, put a lot of pressure on, uh, on Minister Flaherty and other, uh, other officials to not go ahead with the uh, enhancements to the Canada Pension Plan. We want the federal government and all other governments to live up to their commitments that they made in Prince Edward Island, that they were going to go ahead with a two-pronged approach to retirement security and, and a significant part of that was an enhancement of the Canada Pension Plan. It seems to me that, uh, that the, uh, the power of the financial services industry just showed itself on how quickly they can change the mind of a government that was persuaded by facts to turn, turn them around and, and reward these, uh, these banks who actually put us into the depression that we've uh, found ourselves in uh, with regards to our economy.